The tale begins in 1959, amidst the bustling innovation of West Germany. Sprite's early existence was intertwined with that of Fanta, initially known as Fanta Clara Citrone, or Clear Lemon Fanta. This was a time when World War II had disrupted supply chains, forcing companies to think outside of the box. Fanta itself was a child of necessity, a creation born from wartime shortages that prevented Coca-Cola from producing its signature drink in Germany. And so, the world saw the birth of Fanta, which eventually would pave the way for Sprite's emergence. In the Coca-Cola company's history, the name Sprite had lingered for years. Back in the 1940s, Sprite Boy, a whimsical white-haired figure, had danced his way into Coca-Cola's marketing campaigns, enchanting the hearts of a nation. Yet in the winds of change, Sprite Boy took his final bow, exiting the stage in 1958. Little did the world know that the name Sprite would experience a glorious resurrection with the arrival of a refreshing elixir in the United States. The name was reborn, not as a character, but as a name for this clear carbonated beverage. From that moment, the name Sprite was not just a name, but a symbol, etching its place as one of the world's most recognizable brands. The year 1961 marked Sprite's grand entrance onto the American stage, ready to challenge the reigning champion of lemon-lime sodas, 7-Up. But before the curtains rose on this fizzy sensation, meticulous attention was given to his branding and design. Coca-Cola's brilliant minds delved into extensive research, exploring numerous bottle designs and pondering over the logo and the label. In the end, the color green was chosen as Sprite's primary hue. It symbolized refreshment and caught the eye with its natural, non-aggressive appeal. The choice would go on to define Sprite, making it instantly recognizable and unforgettable in the minds of consumers. Sprite's debut was met with enthusiastic applause. Its popularity soared, and Coca-Cola's advertising machine worked tirelessly to boost the brand. By 1967, Sprite had conquered 85% of the U.S. population and was making waves in 39 countries. The Coca-Cola company, with its vast network of bottlers, propelled Sprite ahead of the competition with efficient distribution, securing its position as a lemon line soda champion by 1978. As the 80s unfolded, Sprite set its sights on a younger demographic, that of teenagers, aiming to position itself as the beverage of choice for this new generation of consumers. This marked a stark departure from its previous marketing approach, which had predominantly celebrated the drink's refreshing attributes and its natural essence focused more so to adults. Sprite decided the best way to appeal to this younger audience was to embrace the pulse of pop culture, forging partnerships with influential artists, musicians, and athletes to craft industry-first marketing campaigns. Through these dynamic collaborations, Sprite tapped into the vigor and the dreams of this younger generation, ensuring its continued growth in an increasingly competitive marketplace. And by the mid-90s, Sprite unveiled the iconic Obey Your Thirst campaign, a slogan that would come to embody the brand's identity for years. As the late 90s and early 2000s dawned, Sprite elevated its commitment to hip-hop culture by sponsoring the renowned Lyricist Lounge. This groundbreaking series of hip-hop events and its accompanying MTV television show served as a dynamic platform for showcasing emerging talent and giving a voice to underground artists who might have otherwise remained undiscovered. Through this partnership, Sprite not only solidified its status as a culturally relevant brand, but it also demonstrated a genuine passion for the art of hip-hop. By aligning itself with a movement that championed these values, Sprite formed a deeper connection with the target audience, firmly establishing itself as the brand that comprehends and embraces the cultural spirit of the times. As the years passed, Sprite continued to evolve. It spawned a variety of spin-off products and flavors from cranberry-infused Sprite to the LeBron James signature flavor of Sprite 6 Mix. While the core formula of Sprite has remained relatively consistent worldwide, the brand has demonstrated a keen understanding of regional preferences by adapting its recipe for different markets. For example, European consumers often enjoy a version of Sprite made with real sugar as opposed to the high fructose corn syrup you find in the United States soda market. Particularly in the United Kingdom, Sprite had to adapt to changing consumer preferences for lower calorie options and a government crackdown on sugar quantities and products. These regional variations showcase the brand's flexibility and willingness to cater to the diverse taste of its global customer base and at the same time abiding by governmental regulations. Despite these alterations, the spirit of Sprite remained the same, a beverage that refreshes and satisfies thirst. Today, Sprite stands tall as one of the Coca-Cola company's flagship products, 
holding its own as the second best-selling drink among the company's vast portfolio. It has transcended borders, quenching the thirst of people in nearly 200 countries, with only a few holdouts remaining. But Sprite is not just a soda. It's a symbol of refreshment, a testament to innovation, and a testament to the power of one simple idea. Obey your thirst.